So this is going to be the highlight of this whole thing that you're going to tell all your friends that you are at. Right now we're going to have a ton of incredibly funny people, including someone I heard of, I think you've heard of, named Trevor Noah. So if you stay in your seats, you'll be in a perfect place to hear Trevor Noah. I can't wait for that. First up is a guy who's been on Letterman. He wrote Politically Incorrect, and he wants you to know that he is the nation's leading conservative political comedian. Give it up for Evan Say It. I would give you a hug, my friend. Well, thank you so much. Uh, they, they decided to put the conservative on first to get it over with. That way you can just listen to the liberals when, when you get a chance. You know, people ask me all the time, by the way, hi, everybody. It's, it, this is great. Is this not a great event? <laughs> you know, people ask me all the time, why do you call yourself a conservative comedian? Why don't you just call yourself a comedian? And the answer is because I believe it's important to accurately and honestly label things. That way you guys as consumers can make a choice. If you don't care for my politics, you're probably not going to care for my humor. And, and liberals don't like to label things. They always say, don't, don't label things. Don't la In fact, they are so convinced that if you label things, you must be a Nazi. <laughs> or a fascist. Or a xenophobe. See, the thing is, it's not that liberals don't label things. Of course they do. They just label things exactly the opposite of the truth. So they won't call uh, uh, Nidal Hassan, who, who murdered the people at Fort Hood, a terrorist. They call it workplace violence. But they'll call Republicans terrorists, which is ridiculous. Because if we were terrorists, Obama would negotiate with us. <laughs> We'd get everything we want. We, we wouldn't even have to talk, just take it all. He would say... Even, have you noticed this? Even the liberals misname their television programs. Every single liberal television program is named exactly the opposite of the truth. Right? There's Hardball with Chris Matthews. <laughs> There's the show I wrote for so long, Politically Incorrect, with the world's most politically correct human being. Right? Do you remember that show they called Larry King Live? <laughs> In fact, the only liberal television show that is actually what it's named is CBS News. <laughs> Come on, even you liberals have to admit it's a joke, it's funny, it was well written, well executed. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to know is which liberal television executive had the audacity to name a program where you spend an hour staring at Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg, The View. 